is so pleased with the smooth start we've had to the school year. Uh, it has just been really encouraging to see the students being so excited. Uh, schools running so smoothly. We've had very few issues to deal with, right from uh, busing right up to it, right into the classroom. It's uh, it's been a wonderful school start. Very very pleased with that the way it's going. Uh, and you know what we're really pleased with too is the. Uh, uh, wellness center that's going to be uh, with that project. It's uh, a center that's going to uh, help students and their families uh, with needs. It's a center that's going to involve the YMCA and the student programming. It's going to involve Alberta Health Services. It's going to involve a parent link center. And we're very excited about that because it not just serves uh, PSD students, but it serves students in the whole region. Sometimes you don't see the forest because of the trees and we want to hear from everybody and, and uh, it is not an easy, easy task because we got two schools that are going to be new but they're staggered, they're not opening at the same time. We want to inconvenience families and students as, as little as possible. Uh, we have to look at uh, all kinds of things, uh, you know, uh, uh, grade configuration is, is pretty well set but uh, program of choice and things like that. Uh, we have some options and uh, what we have to do is uh, look at the total package. It's extremely complicated and uh, we want to make sure that it provides for growth for the future as well. We do know that our, our wards are uh, from another era. Uh, they don't reflect representation by population. We do know they need to be changed. And so we have looked at a number of models and a uh, uh, number of options. Uh, we've, we've basically narrowed down to what we feel is a, a fairly good option, but we want to take it to our public again because they may see things that we're missing. The one big change is uh, we're going to stay with the seven trustees, but the one big change is instead of having four rural representatives and three urban, we're going to go with four urban and three rural. That helped us before the budget even came out. In the new budget, uh, they have allowed about a 1.8% uh, increase in basic instructional. We do have a 2% increase in, in class size uh, initiatives for K-3. to And also they're going to uh, honor the collective agreement with teachers, which is a 2% uh, in, in, in uh, salary and a 1% payout. So we're very, very pleased with that and it's a well, well-deserved break for our staff and we certainly, on behalf of the board, I want to wish everybody a great fall break and for those traveling, travel safe and for those staying home with friends and family, just relax, come back refreshed and we'll look forward to working with you into the Christmas season. Parkland School Division, where the world opens up.